With my team. Woo, woo. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, yo, it's me. It's Aaron. What's up, y'all? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. What y'all Here doing with it? You Here know what I'm saying? Put it together. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Trey. What's hey, good? Hey, yo. What's good? <laughs> Trey, that's the first time I've ever seen her come out of you, Yeah. Wow. That's the I'm Philly showing girl. Up. You know, I'm at Slay Fest. You know, I don't go out too often. I'm going to just have a little fun today. Come on out. Okay. We I got to go work at 930 in the morning anyway. So come on. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm going to have fun. Girl. Okay. We are live at Slay Fest. Well, girl, you didn't say hey to me. Oh, Damn. hey. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't exist today. Stevie, girl, you're packing exist, your bag. I'm having an off day. Girl, ne- let me tell you something. They're never going to pack my bag. She's bags. having an off day. We're sending you your luggage. They're never going to send you your luggage. They're never going to send me my luggage. Hey, missing. Stevie. Hi. Hello. What's yeah. going on? We at Slay Fest, bitch. Live in Brooklyn. <laughs> Live yeah. in Slay Fest. Yeah. Yeah. We like to thank uh, Slay TV. Slay Fest is a celebration of queer and trans art and culture. Come on. Presented by Slay TV. Yeah. And we're out here with the girls. And Um, doing things. There are different uh, short films are being featured. Mm -hmm. There is a panel on uh, holistic wellness. And also there's a media representation panel. Yes. Yes. We got experience panel. The girls are out. Let me tell you. We have the girls. And we're also going to be interviewing a few of the girls. Girls. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. We got Kyle Price. Kyle Price, baby. From where? From motherfucking love at first night. Okay. Okay. We have Ryan Jamal Swain Ooh, from bitch. Pose, baby. What? Bitch. Dropping by. We are doing things. The, the girls. And the twos, bitch. And we also have Michael Street sit yes. down with us Come as on. well. Ride your extraordinaire. And the girls are like really out. They're looking up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, y'all stay tuned. We got some interviews coming y'all way. Um, we're also going to be talking about some of the things that are going on, certain the, the events that we attended yes. at Slave Fest. Baby. So, um, this is the Slave Fest edition, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Live Get into it. Pound yeah. Slave Fest. Yeah. So what the girls been up to this summer? Girl. But the rest can of the I, summer. Can I? Can we do the announcement? Your, what? Your, your big whoopty whoop. Your Come big whoopty whoop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I do it? Can I make it big? Can I make it big? <laughs> Come on out. Okay. Okay. Aaron. Wait, I don't even know if I really know the announcement. No, okay, okay, but girl. I think I know. Go ahead and let Aaron do your thing. Let her do her thing. Go ahead, Aaron. All right, so y'all, very Go recently, ahead. I have moved into a new place. Yay! Um, it is an amazing, an amazing transition for me. Come on um, out. And I'm very, very, very happy. I love the place. It's very me. Um, and. I am. I'm, I'm happy. You yeah. know, I We're can't happy wait to make you, it my man. own. Put rugs in it everywhere. Yeah. And all over the walls. Just it up. You we can't wait saying? to see what you do. Get a painting of a naked man. <laughs> Come on. And put it. <laughs> put over, it right over the couch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right so that everybody <laughs> sees that there are naked Come men on. here. Are we? I can't um, wait. Yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, other than that, I mean, I've just been. I've been going to school. Summer class. Um, and I'm summer class y'all. is interesting in that it crams a lot of knowledge into Bless your heart. small Five to six weeks. yeah you know like or, ordinarily it'd be you know over a month or two period yeah. Mm-hmm. but yeah so it's it, it's really interesting um but i absolutely love it i took a theology class mm-hmm. and it was great now i'm in an intro to acting class 
and it's fantastic. Which is I, your, which you want to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. It's um, it's it's lovely. I love. I look forward to doing it every week. So excited. It's great. For you. What about you guys? We're talking about. Yeah. Hey. I mean, uh, why y'all always put the mic hey, on? Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Hello. y'all know what I've been doing. I've been. I'm gonna keep saying it. I've been being an uncle. Yes. Uh, again, you guys have heard me say that I'm not fond of children and I don't want them. Um, but. Yes. You know, I have my nephew that I'm, you know, helping my sister a lot. And, you know, that's pretty much it. And trying to enjoy the rest of the summer and not be in my room and depressed at some point. Uh, yeah, so pretty much it. Being an uncle. Uncle Stevie in the house. Yeah. Ew. And Trey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I love your shirt. Come Thank on, Philly. Yeah. Philly, bitch. Always breathing. Hey. Trey from my Philly. for the 215. I love it. Um... <laughs> Aaron makes faces every time I say that. I didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. He, he um, read your face, Miss Thing? Yeah, I read faces now. I'm very intuitive. <laughs> I have a um, um, But no, I was just telling, I told Malik, um, we were on the phone one day, but I told Aaron also, but I'm just so proud of him. I just yeah. want to say, Come so on everybody now. hears me say this shit. Yeah. It's I no, am it's no, very no proud stuff. of Aaron. Um, I know, I moved, we moved around the same time. He's, a few months earlier than me. Yeah. Um, but my to just move here without much of a plan of just trying to get your life. You like, girl. I'm gonna do this. This is what I want. Aaron. And you did it. And you've prospered. I'm not playing with her. Nope. And, nope. Nope. Um, I'm gonna be honest. If it wasn't for school, my ass would be home in uh-huh. Philadelphia. Uh-huh. Um, because I just don't know if. I've seen what you've done, and it's just just in a short year. Yeah, you've done so much. You're in school. I am. Like well, bitch. Aaron. Um, Thank so you so love. much. But if you can see his face right now, I know I don't give them too many times. <laughs> oh, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Yeah. But what I'm what I'm doing this summer, um, I had some issues at at my job. Okay. Oh, I have bitch, touch my damn drink again, ho. Girl, mm-hmm. he got an Arizona in here. Okay. Yes. It's about to go on. Like yeah. Bitch, bring Stop. a drink. Trays. That's yours, right? Yes, oh, it okay. is. I'm sorry. Touching my shit. It's about to be Aaron's. Okay. Um, but no, I had um, this woman yeah. really went off on me at my job. I told Ooh. Malik about it. Um, she was she. So the story is, we there's rules at the pool about having your IDs always. Um, she had an issue with her account. Normally the guards just let them in, type their name in, but she had an issue with her account, so I asked her to clear the issue. Hey, can I see your IDs? Um, she started getting mad. This is a bougie pool, bitch. She asked for IDs, man. Okay. Bitch, it's, it needs to be bougie. All Girl. the ruffians, I don't need that. I don't gotta save everybody. Imagine if the band but girls pull up. No. You can't get in. If you got Damn. an ID, if you got your ID, ho. Damn. But no. Short. Uh, long story short, she went goes off. Um, I leave her be. I come back up to try to fix and do my job. She's still going off. But um, the the one thing that she did say to me was she brought up my sexuality. That was her, her main oh. thing. So Here we she, go. She, she tried to. But for me, it's not. For me, a lot of things don't get to me. Right. So, like, you trying it, but it doesn't work. So right. I'm going to just tell you you dumb and ignorant, and then I'm going to go about my day like it's nothing. So she she, she really tried it. Um, I let her ex- softly explain to her why she was ignorant, mm-hmm. and she is no longer um, allowed to be at the the, uh, the, um, the place. She's suspended to further notice. Go off, Miss Trey. Um, and I do want to say her damn name, but I'm not going to because I don't want nobody to roll up on me right now. I'm trying to change my girl, life. Girl, we got your bags. Don't worry about them girls. Roll up. I'm well, trying girl, to change my Philly, life. So. Oh, oh, no. Well, then, never mind. I'm not going to leave. So try me. Yeah. Um, but no. I love I, it. That, that's my, my saucy damn summer. Oh, okay. What about you, Malik? Malik um, is in Bayville. So, like, I'm he's in no, love and, I've like... Been- Love life and She's everything. The like. love of Malik. Okay. I um, I'm just to be like recently him. came back from Virginia. And uh, how was um, that? That trip was cute. Mm-hmm. Um, I like, you know what? I missed my Virginia days because that's when I didn't have any responsibilities. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to take care of myself. I didn't have to spend my own money. I, fe- I felt like I didn't even want to text you when you were down there. No like, but Malik is in it his was happy place. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. girl, I'm not even going to text like, her. Uh, I was really just trying to just detox and whatnot. And, yeah. Um, 
those five days, I didn't go anywhere. I stayed in the house for five days. As and you I didn't should. go anywhere. That's so, so cathartic, though. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, that release and that relaxation. And I'm also, um, like, living in the city, I'm always on the go. So, right. um, yeah, went to school, um, went to Virginia, came back. Came Wait, hold back. on, hold on, hold on. What's up? You went to school, you came back, you went home. Um, bitch, you started your first motherfucking day. Yeah. Motherfucking at, hunter. At hunter. Yeah. Um, bitch. I'm almost. I give it up for your, yourself. Give it up, give it up to myself. A hunter give bitch. Give it up to yeah. my sister. Come hunter on. Hunter is very, it's like an adult. Like I was at BMCC and that was like a kiddie school. So I feel Girl. like I like went from kindergarten to Jesus. You know, first High school. grade. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, can't. Um, and uh, it's it's been really great. Like I'm taking um, women and gender studies at Hunter just for the summer, Come and on. I'll be starting there full time in in the fall. And um, it's real. It's real. Like the the professor is like kind of she's really sweet. She's really hip and cool, but she's also like really non no nonsense about like her course and just education in general. And um, we bitch actually watched bitch about her business. Yeah, we mm-hmm. we watched Moonlight our first day, Ooh. which I was like, oh, if the class is this lit on the first day, Come on. then I can't um, I can't wait to see what the remaining of the semester will be like. So yeah, I've just been doing that, and you know, my boyfriend is always in the background supporting me, mm-hmm. um, and even. <laughs> Though he's not here, you know she. He did what he's he did. here. Yeah, he's, he's here. here. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm just really happy that we could be out at Slay Fest and we've been kind of like mixing and mingling with uh, the community. Yeah, um, I love that Slay Fest. Uh, I'm mean, sorry, Slay TV. Um, has something like this, like Slay Fest, For the because girls, yeah, yeah. it really lets you see what the community is like and who is who is a part of the community. And I'm yeah. glad to be out, you know, um, meeting and greeting with the, with girls, the girls. For yeah, real, yeah. for real. I, I love queer folk, especially Come black on. queer folk. You and know? you know, be, being around them gives me energy. I, I I feel like I can face the upcoming week. Slay you know what I'm when I'm around uh, the girls. I can, yeah, I can yeah. go back out and I can slay because I know that I have these these people are yeah. in my corner. You yeah, know what I'm saying, and it, it's a great it's a great feeling. Yeah, they give us good energy. That's what they say. It's what you live for. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. That's what it is. Yeah. So I'm just like, you know, we in the atmospheres. They playing the beat in the they background. Playing, girl, they want, like, I want to come on out. I want to get up and give a tip. I come you on know, out, I just want to get Don't make me start. No, listen, I told myself I'm going to teach myself how to vote. I'm going to teach myself how to vote. Yeah, I got no issues with it whatsoever. So they, um, I went to the, they had a master class. Ronaldo and Swiggy hosted a master class Thursday. Yes. And um, they had a really great turnout. Mm-hmm. Um, all my runway and voguing divas was out there or whatever. And yes. I love when the girls come out to, you know, sharpen and cultivate their craft because that's that's what the ballroom needs, you yes. know. Yes. Um, and Shout then out also, to Miss Twiggy. Okay, and Ronaldo. My girl. Oh, and, and Ronaldo, um, the, yes. At the end of the class, they give the girls, like, a kind of a history because I think, you know, the girls be so eager to, like, learn how to walk and, you know, vogue or whatever, but they don't know the history. So they, they gave the girls right. a little acute history lesson as yeah. well. So... Um, but yeah, we got the girls walking around, you know, okay. the music is playing, everybody looking good, everybody you know, nice. what's up? Hello, how are you? <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so we're probably, look, we're probably, we're going to go ahead and take a cute little break Yeah. and, uh, we will I'm be I'm going to get these hoes drunk. Okay. Okay. I, I need a few yeah. cocktails. Yeah, a few. One and two. No Three, shade. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right. We are here yeah. with Michael. Woo, what's woo. up? What's up? What's up? Hey. So tell you know our listeners. Uh, tell tell us your name, what about yourself? What what do you do? Yeah. So my name is Michael Street. I'm a freelance writer based here in Manhattan, and I write mostly about. I like to say I write about blackness, queerness, and fashion. And generally, my, I feel that my best pieces are usually at the intersections of those three spaces. Come on now. So, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. And what is your what was your role here today at Slate Fest? Yeah, so today I did my first panel ever. Oh. Um, so I was the moderator of the uh, Now More Than Ever, a panel on uh, representation in media. Okay. So okay. we talked just about sort of representation, particularly like sort of being queer people of color and representation and how it's being handled and, and what it means and, and, and all those things. And why, why would you say it is important to have, I mean, I have my reasons, but why would you say it's important for queer people to be represented with throughout media? So, I mean, it's really interesting, right? So, like, obviously one reason that it's important for queer people to be represented is is, is to know that you're valid. It's because sort of, like, there's a lot of sort of rhetoric that happens that tells people that this is a choice or that, but like, people try to sort of, like... I don't know how to explain this, but they try to uh, sort of discount and discredit the way that you feel mm-hmm. by trying to make you feel like you're odd or the only one. Yeah. And so when you can see uh, that the, there's an entire community of people that are like you, then you know that you're not doing something that's weird. Right. And particularly, I also think that you don't talk about this aspect of representation when it comes to historical representation. Come on out. And so knowing that like this is not something that's a fad, this is not a trend, this has been around since since the beginning of mankind like if you know that then then it makes you feel a lot better and and, and, it it also sort of like you know takes away this discrediting that that happens okay and where where can our listeners find you as far as your social media Um, so I'm on Twitter but I mean you have to follow me there at your own peril I am endorsing Michael's Twitter. It is hilarious. Oh my no, God. no, no. Not only is it funny, I but it's still yeah. engaging yeah. content. So I get on there and you I post your your work on there. I do I, thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see the girls. You know, you, the girls. <laughs> come on out. You, know. that was you gotta get buck wild on on the you know and let the girls know. I'm currently trying to pivot. Yeah, right. A different girl. A different girl. Rebrand, yeah, rebrand, and, so, and so I'm trying to be, you know, yo, Caucasian. Uh-huh. I love you, <laughs> and you know, but you could like historically, I've you been known to with drag us. a few yeah. of the girls. Uh, it's just okay. I, I don't try to do it like mean spirited. A lot of what I try to do, and this is also something that I do in my writing, mm. is I try to add some context to to conversations that are happening. Right. right? Okay. So like people talk about whatever the fuck they want to talk about, and I'm like, like people sort of. A lot of times, I think that people conflate issues and mm. topics, mm-hmm. and they don't want to talk about the entire thing. So, right. like, thinking about ballroom, I read a lot about ballroom, and mm-hmm. when people talk about ballroom, they're always talking about queer trans pe- trans people that are in some way affected by HIV AIDS, that uh. are poor and marginalized, and all these things. And they don't want to talk about the fact that like there's an entire fucking labels category, which means you have to wear head to toe high fashion designer, generally that you purchase. Out. These people are not poor anymore. Right. That is for sure where this community started. started yeah. But when you talk about ballroom, you also need to talk about like the fact that it's not there anymore and the culture has changed because of that, right? Uh-huh. It's like you go to, if you go to a big uh, bar and you see a labels competition, this man I was just watching on YouTube the other day, he came out where he had to tell Vivian Westwood with an entire like rolling rack of just Vivian Westwood. Yeah. That's amazing. Like, this isn't Fabulous. because it's not poor anymore. Yeah. And uh-huh. so like, don't like sort of truncate things to this narrative. And so I try, you know, in these conversations to add that context of like, you're talking about this, but this thing, like this is like, this is a bigger story that you're completely ignoring to try to make your point. Right, right. So that's what I try to do. So I have to, we, we're asking one messy question. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I just told you I'm pivoting. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, but we bring it back on out. Like, we are on out. Like, hey, get me out, out of here, please. Not we are for today. That pivot Come mistake. on out. No. Um, so, with being as visible as I, I know you are, and I can imagine you are, like in the community, um, on social media, how do you navigate dating? Oh, see what happened. <laughs> Come on okay. out. Come on out. Come on out. Look, first of all, I'm not very visible, to be frank. Like, I have a lot of friends who are very visible. Okay. I'm not very visible. Um, but I also don't. Like, I have for a very long time, and maybe this is because of, like, whatever, but, like, I've always kept my sort of dating life very completely separate okay. from yeah. the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And that is and a great so, thing. So, uh, I don't. If, if I could be interested in you, we're not going to be friends. If we possibly dated in the past, like if we could possibly date, if we did date, we just saw each other, yeah. we went for drinks, 
and I walked out five minutes early. I love, I'm not. We're not. T- I, we're, we I love when we're bringing this out of and, you. And Come on I, out. I tell the girls it's all the time. I, like people will be like, oh, you know, like after you break up, they're like, oh, but we can still be friends. No. Like, for what reason? Right. Because yeah. the other thing is, it's also like because I go through all these things. Yeah. It's also like I'm not gonna come across you in life. Like I have to go through oh, an effort. Wow. Like, I gotta really want to separate like, these moves. Anyway, tucked so, in the scene. But, but the thing, the problem is, it's recently, in the past few months, I've been seeing people okay. who I would come across. There's this one brown skinned gentleman. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And we work very, and it's, it's very disorienting, and uh, so I have to figure it out. But uh, yeah, so I'll tell you about that. Yeah, yeah okay. I need you. We need Ooh. you back. So hopefully, we can hopefully it won't be a situation about to figure it no, out because no. it just like continues. Yeah, but, you know, like is. the best things do. Well. It was a pleasure having you on us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming so much on. For having you. Yeah, and we definitely have to get you back to do Absolutely. that. Yeah, because I need to get this up again. Y'all are trying. What happened? Y'all are just uh-huh. trying I want to cancel the pivot. Uh-huh. I feel like y'all are trying to I want get you to be messy again. I'm uh-huh. not putting on Twitter. No. I'm we're, here for we're it. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, that's going to be the name of the episode. Canceling the pivot. Canceling the pivot. Oh, I love it. Wait, wait, wait. But I'm all about the rebranding, so I can't adore See, Trey, we can't do that. And then just give the rest to you guys. Okay. So okay. I'm fine. Yeah, no. I'm here for it. Yeah. I, I'm, I appreciate it. We can work yeah. on a deal. I love it. So, um, yeah, we'll be right back. You know, y'all take a break. Y'all do y'all things like y'all always do. All right. And we'll be right back. Yeah. Oh, oh. Listen, seeing you got ritualistic Pleasant my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart Between us just like big fences You got issues that I'm attention for now Cause we're falling apart Oh, I have the <laughs> lovely and talented Ryan Jamal Swain. Hey y'all, Yay. hey y'all. This is Ryan. Ryan over here. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm playing Damon on the new uh. FX show Pose. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I did a like you know one man show back about Lynx and Hughes about his private life. Okay. okay. Um, back in 2014, in preparation to train over in Oxford, so the UK. Wow. So I went and did theater over there. You know, did a few things, moved forward. This is okay. my first TV thing. So, right. like, this is my first, like, breakout role. Okay. Well, what a breakout, bitch. Right. 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 Come on. Come on. Y'all 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 thing. Y'all <laughs> so, thank you, thank I, you. I, I have to know, I've been dying to know, um, what was the audition process like? So, so I was doing an off-Broadway show here at called Kill Move Paradise in National Black Theater okay. during the time that this was kind of circulating around, like, my agent and my manager's, like, desks. Mm-hmm. And I read the script, and I was like, Oh my God, I would love to be a part of this. But I was thinking, you know, TV, they just get a TV actor, got an extensive amount of credits, you know. They're not going to see me, but they probably see me for an an appointment, and then, hey, we can move forward. So then I was like, I was gung ho about doing Hamilton. Like, I was like, Hamilton will be the next thing that I was doing, which was like working with my my agents, working with the team, meeting Lynn, Manuel Miranda, meeting everybody, and get into that space because I thought I was going to be on national tour. And then I did this audition, and then the same day they were asking me for dance videos, and I was like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> I said, wait, I got to go find stuff. Because, you know, like, when I got out of college, I didn't build myself as a dancer. I was like, I don't want to do concert dance. I don't want to do that. I just want to be an actor. Right. So all the stuff that I had, I had to, like, scrape up, ask my classmates, yeah, like, yo, rehearsal videos, whatever. You know, I did that. A few weeks passed by. I didn't hear anything. So I was like, okay. They went with some, some yeah. TV man that ain't uh, gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, sure enough, in July, my manager was like, check your email, check your email, check your email. And I'm like, girl, what are you talking about? I'm trying to do Hamilton. She, and she was like, Ryan Murphy wants to meet you. Oh, wow. So then Ryan Murphy, Stephen Canals, um, Brad Falchuk, like all the producers, and yes. like everybody 
was in there and wanted to see me do this work. Oh, wow. wow. And I was just like, okay, there could be two things. I could be fanning out because it's Ryan Murphy and this team, or I'm just going to sit in here and try to do great work in the yeah. room. Yeah. And I said, you know what? I don't even think that I'm going to get it, but you know what? If I just focus on doing good work, that's what I'll be happy with. And I can yeah. live and go to Mexico because I was planning on going to Mexico afterwards. Yeah, yeah to teach her acting in English workshop. You oh, know, wow. For the, for the nice. N- oh, he's international, wow. honey. We don't get play to, over here. Yes. Um, I love ha, it. Boo. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> so then July happens. This work work call happens with Ryan, and I do those scenes for him, and he just literally stands up and just starts crying. I'm just like, you're so special. Yeah. You have something truly true special, and I hope that we get to work together. Yeah. So then, then the same day, my manager and agent rolling around money, and I'm sitting here like, this is how much I'm getting. Come Ooh. on. Yeah. I ain't never it's had about, this much money ever in my life. The yeah. coin. I said, wow. Oh. Okay, people, but I was like, let me not get my hopes up. Let me not get my hopes yeah. up. You're going to be an TV person. And sure enough, four days after, producer, I got that call saying that I booked it. And, oh, wow. You know, it was just like, I was in Mexico, like, coming from the gym and, like, but those prepare for, like, my, my workshop that I was preparing for there. And I was at the home that I was staying by myself, and I literally was just like, oh, shit, it's real now. You know, and I get the opportunity to breathe life into such a brilliant, brilliant human oh, being. Come on, I'm trying not to cry while I'm right, right. here. Come on out. Um, <laughs> you know, like every single time we, we we dream about. Come on, yeah. you can have it. We dream about these moments yeah. Yeah. where we, you know, look at a TV or look like look somebody in our in, in like they are literally in my living room or on our TV or in, in, in on our phone. You literally see somebody that mirrors your humanity and, and truly yeah. a moment that says, "I see you," Come right? On, yes. Like Come we on. see that and. Damon is such one of those. Bro- he's not. He's not jaded by the world. He's just, you know, he's really just open and honest about what he's doing and how he's doing it. Yeah. And for me, that brings peace. Yeah. That yeah. brings joy. That brings me happiness and closer to me just being free and my authenticity. You know, like being from the south. Come on, child. Dang. Trying to be a dancer and doing football and basketball and doing all that and just like not knowing how internalized homophobia was showing up on me. Yeah. And like trying to cold switch and trying to appease everybody else's reality of who I was, Child. and then having the moment where their words might be introduced to me in the most authentic way that they possibly can be, and I'm in control of that. Yeah. I'm at the vessel of that, and what an honor it is to breathe life into such a complex and nuanced and a very dear and yeah. loving individual like Damon. And we got season two, so let's see what yeah. this story is. Yeah. We got <laughs> season two. We did a um, we did an episode last week, um, well two weeks ago, and uh, mm-hmm. we just talked about our favorite moments from all of the episodes. Work. I love so y'all. Like First of all, oh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just good energy here. Yeah. Like it is. Like yeah. I just feel like yeah. yes, yes, y'all rap it. Come on, we <laughs> have, have our girls here. Our tribe. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> hello. Ooh. I want to take the time that I have, you know, with okay. you Love to come say on. thank you. Um, you know, seeing you on the show. I, I wish I, y'all could see that his haircut is like on flick. Right now. Oh, thank you. Here we go. <laughs> like, I'm just, never mind. Thank like, you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seeing you on the show, your character and how you portray your character, I, it's, I see myself. Come on. And it's so important. Representation. I mean, it's like a, it makes you wish that I was a kid again so that I could see that and grow up with that and know that it's okay to be me from the very beginning. Yeah. But seeing it now makes me realize that everything that I am and the man that I am is perfectly fine to Come exist. On. And I appreciate you for that. And, you know, the wit and the nuance and the emotion that you play the character with is amazing to me. And so I really love thank seeing you. you on screen. So thank you. Thank you. What, what is it? What I mean, what an opportunity is to turn on your TV for all those babies that look like us yeah. and 12 and 11 and 10 and 9 and 8 trying to figure out who they are and what yes. they're doing. What a privilege it is for them to turn on their TV and watch somebody breathe life into a sliver of their humanity. Right. Yes. Because, I mean. Is, is universality and specificity, right? Like, we are dealing with Damon's story, but we can all find our, our truth yeah. through that. Yes. You know, there have been so many people that, you know, this this is the true, you know, moment of, like, how you show up on people. And truly, if you're a good person, is how you show up on people and how yeah. people come up to you and just be like, because of you, um, I came out to my, my, my family. Because of you, I'm comfortable being bisexual. Because of you. And it's like, I'm, listen, I'm only the vessel. And, you know, and knowing that I've been working for this, I've been working hard. This is I've been, my whole life has been preparing me for this moment. Um, the the trials and tribulations, the the moments in those dark rooms. It's, it's coming from a space that is not too distant, right? Yeah. Like there's 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 power and there's healing, and I hope that for everybody that's listening, for all y'all beautiful brown and black kings around, is that this is this is healing for all of us. Yes, it is. I love it. This is healing. Well, thank you so much for coming to sit with us and and, and 
chatting with the girl. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Can we talk about how amazing your skin looks? Because well, I've been looking at all this time. Vitamin E. Okay. Yes, vitamin yeah. E. Vitamin E. Huh? Look, vitamin E. Vitamin E. Vitamin e. Yes. yes, vitamin E. And then just water, Essentia. Hey, Essentia. <laughs> I'm an Essentia brand. It goes with brain. Because you just can't drink water. You can't just over, be drinking over, hot water. Over right. achieving yeah. hydration. Yes. Come on. I'm trying to be the spokesperson, Ooh. y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> So yeah, um, it was great talking to you. Yeah. Hopefully we get to do it again. I want to do this all day. Yeah. All day. <laughs> that's yeah. that's our mission to yeah. get you all comfortable yes. and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, but before I have to give all y'all a question. Okay. So what's y'all what's y'all what's y'all horoscopes? What's your signs? All y'all. This always gets shady. I'm an Aries. Okay. I'm an Aries. Work. I'm a Virgo. Work. I'm a Taurus. Work. Okay, fire, fire. <laughs> and I'm a Pisces. Okay. But like right. a lot of my chart is like Aries and Sagittarius. Okay. My best friends are Virgos and like my best friend is Taurus. And then Aries is we have we have a love, yeah. <laughs> love relationship. Right. We love you. Right. Beautiful gals. Great gals. Great gals. Great gals. Great gals. <laughs> Beautiful gals. <laughs> I love y'all. Ooh. I love y'all. <laughs> but yeah, um, we will be right back. Snag somebody, uh-huh. a good somebody, yeah. a, a, a good a some, good, a good, good somebody. somebody. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I got by my side. I got the the handsome and the talented oh. Kyle Price. Yeah. Uh, what's In going on, building. everybody? What's Thank up, you. Hey y'all. I'm happy to I'm happy to finally be here. Okay. And mind you. Catch this. They made me the hymn of the week last uh-huh. week. And you know what? I was like, I was like, I wasn't even expecting that. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, like y'all think girl. I'm cute. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll take that. <laughs> you know, the hymn of the week is supposed to be like the MCM, but okay. no, no, a little bit it's, more it's classier. Very jet Beauty of the Week. Jet yeah. Yeah. Wow. A goal yeah. recognized. But also yes. your talent. But something yeah. up, but yeah. you know what? A goal recognized. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, cause you know, beauty and brains, you know? Yes. Humbly speaking, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about, I mean, I know. Know the girls and the boys know who who Kyle is, or they you know from from to. social media yeah. and whatnot. Uh, that's but a word. Tell uh-huh. me, um, give us your resume. What what do you do? Who do you give know? Okay, resume. well, um, I can currently be seen on uh, Love at First Night, which is currently on YouTube and Slate TV right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been doing the web series game for about. Uh, four years now. Okay. And I was previously on a web series called Quarter Century New York, so y'all can check that out on YouTube. Um, I'm doing a lot of modeling. I'm doing commercial work. Um, I work with a couple brands, Johnny Walker, um, IQ Eyewear, and I have a couple things coming up. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to, you know, get out there and do what I do when I do it, you know? Oh, my God. We mm-hmm. saw the um, sneak peek. Uh huh. We saw the sneak peek for uh, season three. Did you guys like it? Oh my God. You love it? Uh, all right, all right. Mind you, mind you, uh, uh, just a little inside tea. Okay. Yes. I had a hand in writing season three. Right. So uh, like, there's a lot of twists and turns because I'm a messy bitch that lives for drama. Oh, so, <laughs> so, yeah. so I like, I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know that whatever you think is about to happen. Throw that out the window. It's okay. not going to be that. Ooh. So you're gonna. It's going to be a full circle moment. And you know, spoiler alert. It, this is the last season. Okay. So, so everybody. Is gonna have a good ending or is it gonna be bad? 
every character is gonna have an ending. I don't know oh, if it's gonna be good, oh, yeah. but they're it's gonna oh, they're gonna right. have yeah. it's gonna be. Listen, this is what you tune in for the yes, drama. No, yeah, like, yeah, I, I, no, yeah. I, mean, I was this is what I live in that, for. In that yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you were and you were in it to win it. Yes. Mind you, that's uh that's a preview of episode one. Okay. So there's a whole. I think we're gonna do uh ten more episodes, ten or eleven. We might you know sneak another one in there. Right, right. But it's gonna be everybody's story is gonna be really fleshed out. You're gonna get conclusions for everything. You're gonna find out like all the twists and turns. Oh the messy drama, all that good Come stuff. On. But it's gonna be it's going to be good. Like I had a I had my mind into it. I listened to what all the fans said when they yeah. were watching season one and season two. I was watching like every little nuance and everything because I'm a I'm a nitpicker. Yeah. So we're gonna have like everything that you guys want answered is gonna happen. So okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So my um I have a messy question for you. Oh like, lord. Well, it's, not, it's not really messy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really messy you but. led with messy, so it's gonna be messy. All right. <laughs> But no, um, you were on um, Hella Single, yes. and you were talking about dating. So okay. I wanted to know what are your like five non-negotiables when dating with someone? Oh God, when dating someone. Okay, so number one, because <laughs> I was I was waiting for this question. You thought you thought it was gonna be messy, but I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so number one, please no bad breath. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no bad breath. Because I have to talk to you, and conversation is a big thing for me. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm talking to you and you got dragon breath, that's like, no, we can't, there's no turning back beyond that. I share that with you. All right. Oh, and wow. if we, number two, okay. if we are in a date and we're at a restaurant, please do not be, this is an A and a B uh, okay. answer. Don't be rude to the, uh, to the waiters. Yes. I hate that because that's a larger reflection of who you actually yeah, are, yeah, like yeah. for yeah, your character. And then also, don't be. Don't be a stingy tipper. Because because I was a waiter before, and I'm yeah. like you know I always do twenty percent as just like a as a luxury you know yeah, what I yeah. mean because as a standard you know yeah. three um, I need you to not be boring and <laughs> like because I'm a, I'm a like I'm a, I'm yeah I need a lively person I like to like interact with person like people like I don't like a lot of surface stuff like yeah you cute yeah you got the body or whatever you got going on for yourself like you're great on paper but what else can what we else like interact on? with like what intangible can I go with you to Burger King at three o'clock in the morning and expect you and like and you know not be feeling pretentious like oh we shouldn't be doing this like well I just need you to get that super size fry with me when we out there you know don't get be pretentious like, listen get along because you got money, right? Cause, Ooh, and then that's, <laughs> that's understood. <laughs> Four, I need you to, I need you to be passionate about whatever you're doing. I don't care if you are a, if you mopping floors, if you, if you turn over fries, if you a CEO at Goldman Sachs or whatever. I just need you to be passionate about whatever you do because whatever you do, the person I'm with, that I feed off of that energy. So like, if you are passionate about whatever you're doing, I want to feel that because it's gonna yeah. inspire me to do whatever. And then number five, um, keep yourself up. I don't need you to be a Tumblr boy or anything like that, but I just like, just keep yourself up. Keep yourself together, whether it be like in your appearance with your dress, or, like your body or whatever, just keep yourself up. Keep your mind right, you know? Don't be, don't slack. Because I'm not slacking. So I need you to, you know, meet me or be better. That's it. Yeah, well, and, 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 and that's it. Damn, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty, um, you know. Mm -hmm. right you gotta get right so, to the point. You know, if the yeah. boys and the girls are looking for you, where can they find you? Instagram, Twitter, whatever else you got. Okay, well, my Twitter is KP, KP's World. Mm -hmm. KP's World, KP's World, KPS World on Twitter, and my Instagram is KP Holla Twelve, the number twelve. Um, I'm Kyle Price on Facebook and all that other good stuff. It's all linked and all that good stuff. So yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say to our listeners and you know anybody that's out there that may be listening? Um, I just want to say everybody protect your wig for season three because oh, it's coming yeah, out. Because yeah, yeah. it's I'm coming for hair follicles for season three. That's um, involved. you know continue to support the show. Yeah. Everybody that's involved in the show. I'm looking at some of my castmates right over there. There's DJ right there. Hey DJ. Hey, hey y'all. Don't y'all love that jumper? It's cute, right? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, just support everybody and everybody like. On a personal note, I just want to say everybody just spread love whenever you can yeah. because it's like it doesn't matter like who what walk of life you're at like you know who you interact with somebody's going through something that you don't necessarily know about and they can need they can use that love you know so just spread love whenever you can so yeah.
Well, we love you. We love you. Oh, and I love you, and I love you right, and I love you right back. Yes. <laughs> thank we you. We love you, and we thank you for taking uh-huh. the time to come sit with us. Oh, and no chat problem. With us. No um, problem. No problem. You know, we we know you're busy, busy. Oh yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. listen. I always got to hustle. Um, and um, hopefully we can do a longer version of this. this oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. future, because yeah, tough. Um, we we really enjoy the conversation. Yeah. Oh, dope, dope. Yeah, we can set it up. We'll we make it work. Listen, international. In case you got a fuck. <laughs> it's international. That's what it is. That's what I know about that brand. Right, right. The brand is strong. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, we love you, Kyle. And we love you too. We'll be, we'll be talking soon. Oh yes, yeah. definitely, right. definitely. All right. Excellent. We'll be All right. back, y'all. Yeah. All right. Left the nigga on red cause I felt like it Took me down in a rash in a road jacket Got the pepper, I look fine, now my checks to fine No wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like I do What I like I do, I do, I do What I like I do, I do, I do What I like I do, I do, I do What I like I do, I do I left the nigga on red cause I felt like Left a nigga on red, cause I felt like it. Left a nigga on red, cause I felt like it. Left a nigga on red, cause I felt like it. We just wanted to. <laughs> we are back, you know. Um, thank y'all for listening to those interviews. Yeah, we had so um, much fun. We had a ball, baby. Stay Fest was fucking popping. Yeah, yes, it really was. If you That's missed good. it, you missed it was out, a baby. Time. Yes, yes. We want to give a special shout out to uh, you know all of the people that made Slay Fest happen. Absolutely. We have to give a shout out to Sean and Terry Torrington. Yes. 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 Thank you so much for having thank us and for throwing this in the first place. Thank you. We also have to do another shout out for Twiggy Garcon. Twiggy Garcon. <laughs> Bitch, my yeah. best friend. Yeah. Girl. The Twiggy, legend. You always Just, fuck it up. Yes. yes. And it's uh, with Stina Daker, who's okay. also um, helped putting the uh, festival together. Yes, so she made it all come together. We'd like to thank y'all for that. And then um, we, uh, good luck to the people who are performing Forming tonight, tonight yeah. for the concert. Yes. 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 Again, we have um, Jonathan Likes. We have Davey Ike. Fusilier. We, we have Lonnie B. Rose LaBeja. Uh, we have Ra Ra Gabor. We have mm-hmm. Charlie Zion. Mila Jam. Bryant. Punk Adam. Shea Diamond. Come Boy on, y'all. Radio. Jay Burger. And Cakes the Killer, bitch. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That sounded, you know how um, Beyonce and Jay was doing Love Happy and they was going back and forth? Uh-huh. That, was, uh, here y'all that was it? Girl. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Love. Come on, Beyonce. That was, that was, that was it. That was it, bitch. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm just going to have which one of you is Beyonce. So, me. But, you know, I'm going to give her that. I'm going to give her that. You're give her that? She got the hair, so I'm going to give her that. She's going to have okay. to have something. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. giving, I'm giving ball-headed kind. You know? Okay. <laughs> But cool. no, um, when y'all listen, make sure when y'all tweet, y'all do pound Slay Fest, pound him. Uh-huh. Um, I love y'all so much. Thank yes. you so much for listening and supporting, and stay tuned. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Slay TV. Thank you, Slay and Fest. Like, yeah. always catch us every motherfucking Wednesday. Ho. Every, every motherfucking, motherfucking Wednesday. Wednesday. Thanks, Pips. All, All right. right. Uh-huh. Bye, babies. Love y'all. Shot callers, 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 call